Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Megan and I'm Sierra. Today we have a very exciting video, I think. We're doing a clothing try-on haul specifically for wedding dress, for wedding guest dresses, not wedding dresses. <laughs> no, we are not at that stage yet. So we wanted to do this video because we are trying out a specific brand called Reformation that is rather Quite pricey. Expensive. Um, they are a sustainable company though, so that's kind of explaining some of the high prices, but to be honest, we could not get ourselves to spend this much money on a dress and not have it be for a video. So yeah. this is kind of us justifying it and then we bought three each. We are returning to the ones we don't wear because yeah. too much money for me to just keep laying around. So we're going to be doing that in this video, but before we get into the trend portion and talking about the dresses, we did want to thank today's sponsor, which is Tula. With the holidays quickly approaching, Tula will be releasing their full holiday collection on October 19th. They've actually curated three unique holiday kits so you can determine what one works best for you and your needs. You really can't go wrong because all these holiday kits are filled with the best sellers and cult favorites. So if you've been wanting to try Tula out, then right now is the perfect time to do so. Our code will help you to get an additional 15% off the already amazing deal, so it will be nearly 50% off for total savings if you get the holiday kits. The Time to Delight 6-piece skin revitalizing kit includes some of their staples, like their purifying face cleanser as well as the 24-7 moisture hydrating day and night cream. And I hate having oily lotion on my skin, so this consistency is just absolutely perfect, but it is still very moisturizing. I feel like my face is well nourished after I put this lotion on. Tula is also releasing the So Sweet Exfoliating Sugar Scrub Trio. They have three amazing scents to choose from, including chocolate peppermint, sugar plum, and gingerbread. So if you've been wanting to improve the smoothness of your skin or just gently exfoliate so you can make sure you're cleansing your pores, then once again, you can use our code for an additional 15% off, resulting in nearly 30% savings for the Sugar Scrub Trio. Tula is also releasing an eye balm extravaganza kit with three different eye balms to help you reduce the look of puffy eyes, as well as provide your eyes with some much needed hydration. As someone who used to be very insecure and concerned with under eye bags, I appreciate a good eye balm. Specifically, since we're getting close to winter, my eyes are one of the first things on my face that are going to start getting dry and cause problems. And so I like that in addition to having the moisturizer, I'm going to be able to go in with some more specific hydration and really try and get that cleared up. Again, you can get 15% off with our code, so that'll be nearly at 40% total savings for this trio. And thank you again to Tula for sponsoring this video. So this whole idea kind of came about because I have been religiously obsessed with this one dress on Reformation. I've been showing it to Megan, showing it to like literally everyone. Like my dad has seen it for no reason. Like he doesn't care about like dresses. But I'm like, look how cute this dress is. Um, it is the Nikita dress, and I believe it's like $248. Very, very expensive for a dress, but I just always looked at it and I was like, it's so pretty. It'd be like the perfect wedding guest dress. I also uh, have been on Reformation's website, and in order to do this video, I found three dresses that I felt that I would like to try on. Um, I already have a pair of shoes that I would like to use for the wedding, so that was kind of something I kept in mind. Um, I think they clashed with one of the dresses, <laughs> but I'll try it on with the dress anyways, and we want your guys' thoughts on if you have any favorites that we try on, um, what you think we should wear. So again, I got three dresses too. One of them is the dress that I was obsessed with online, and then I got two other dresses that I thought I might also be interested in, so it would be interesting to see which one I end up picking, because I've been obsessed with this one for literally months at this point, yeah. uh, but it could go either way. We have tried them on. They're all very pretty, but now you guys will get to see them and also help us decide. All right, so we're going to obviously try these on and like talk about them while wearing them, but real quick, we'll kind of go over the dress itself and the style colorway that we got or pattern. So the first dress that I have is the Cremini dress, I believe that's how you pronounce it, and I got it in the Blitz pattern. It's kind of like a leopard kind of print, but yeah, it's, they're all midi length, the ones that I got. Uh, I think this one has a slit as well. We also got all of these in a size two because we felt like that would be the most true to size for us. We did refer to the size chart, but then we didn't think it fully seemed right, so we just stuck with the yeah. wrong size, and it seemed like it well, ended up I working Well, I think that when we measured it, like when we measured ourselves and it looked online, it said like size four. And I was like, I just don't think I'd be a size four. So we got size two, or I think one is an extra small. And they all seem to fit just fine, so. Um, so the first dress that I got was, or is called the Juliet dress, and it's just in plain black. This was the dress that I was most looking forward to. Um, it kind of have, like has a sweetheart neckline, which I don't really like, so I'm kind of shocked that I like this as much as I did online. But otherwise, it's just black, kind of a linen-ish material or chiffon maybe i don't know um and it has a slit in the front on one of the sides and this is also a midi length 
So these are the first dresses that we just talked about. Uh, we're gonna go through some pros and cons. You can't really see the shoes we're wearing, but just to give you guys the full ensemble. Um, so pros and cons of my dress that I'm noticing. I think that the straps are a little bit wide, which I'm kind of like, do I like, do I not like? I don't know. And then also I feel like this dress is like a two-person dress. Like if these are not exactly right, and the tie, how they it's tie low. it, it's low. And so it's just more difficult it's to kind tie. Of fun. Having Sierra help me. I also am not very nimble with my fingers, so I'm not the best at tying things in the first place. So if you're on. solo, I feel like this would be hard to adjust and get right for you to actually wear it. That being said, once it's on, it fits pretty nicely. I wish the straps were a little more adjustable. They're quite frankly just like these thin little straps with absolutely no give. So it could be more comfortable. But it's not super uncomfortable, but I'm just like, I paid how much for this dress? Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, we've got a pretty high slit, do a little leg pop moment. Yeah, I think um, it's cute. I like it. It's cute otherwise, though. So here's what the back looks like, pretty plain and simple. And back to the front. All right, so this is my dress. I feel like it gives me like a slip dress vibe because there's no like tightening or cinching in the waist. It's kind of just like yeah. match to lay. Flat again has a slit. I like that the slit is on the left side because I feel like my left side is my good side. So I can post your pictures, have the slit with like the little light pop and be on my good side. So that's a pro. I don't know if they have any slits like with uh, being on the right side, but I like that it's on the left side. Um, I like the pattern. I think that it's very comfortable. Um, since there's no like zippers or like anything, you just slip it on and it's just good to go. The straps I believe are adjustable. They are. And so yeah, you can adjust it too if you want it to be like higher up. You could do that a little bit, you could lower it if you want. So I don't have any complaints. This is one of my favorites that I am a little bit partial towards, but yeah. this was what I was saying was kind of the one that out of all three when I was initially ordering, I thought would be the winner. Alright, so the second dress that I have is the Formosa dress and the color is Cafe. It's just this nice dark chocolatey brown color. Again, midi length. This one's a little bit more form-fitting than the other dresses that I have, and it's also like a softer material, like it's actually stretchy. You guys probably can't like see it too much, but it has a slit as well, and a little bit of a sweetheart neckline. So when I was on the website, I was trying to get different styles to try on so it, it would be more interesting, but I found that they had a few restrictions in terms of what was available in stock in my size and dresses that I liked, and also a lot of the patterns that I liked were lighter in color or like white and I didn't feel like I was yeah. wedding appropriate so I had to like shy away from some of the other some of the other ones I kind of wanted to try more. So this is once again the Juliet dress style um, but just in a different pattern that I kind of liked. The thing with this is that I'm going to like a fall wedding and I don't know if this pattern is very fall-esque. So and also this is the one that's going to clash with my black shoes so it is already getting knocked down in points because of that. <laughs> All right, the last dresses that we each have, this is the dress that started this whole video. It is the Nikita dress in the pattern Mademoiselle. So it's like this dark navy color with all of these kind of like spring flowers on it. Uh, tie straps and this like little bustier style top kind of. I should also mention that a lot of the dresses if like that we've shown so far do have this like ruching, ruching in the back by the zipper. So it gives some flexibility there. Yeah, and, and all the other, my two dresses before this also had tie straps as well. Alright, so here we are in dress number two for each of us. So this one, what I really like about it is like, it is so comfortable, like, you know, the fabric feels yeah. like, it's just like, it just feels like you're lounging around. I don't know about you though, I feel like that's good at the same time, kind of like, it looks like a dress you could get at many other places. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily look like a $200 dress. The quality is great. Actually, this one was only $100 and something. Dollars, okay. So, <laughs> so. Little price drop. Uh, there's no adjustability with these straps. It just is what it is. But I feel like at the same time, this dress is like tight enough or like could be, like it's form fitting. So it's like it stretches and then it kind of goes back to the shape of your body. And so I think that the compression up top would be fine with the straps. I don't think you'd need to necessarily adjust it. Uh, this one does have another slit with the left side so I do like that and yeah okay this is the same style as the previous dress I was just trying on just different patterns so a lot of the same pros and cons apply one of the pros or cons is the pattern of this dress because I tend to be very neutral and I like you know just plain black dresses and I feel like I'd get more wear out of it but at the same time you need a statement about this one 
So I really like this one. I will say both this one and the last one are double lined, but this one the pattern is on the outside and then there's blue on the inside. So with the slit you can kind of sometimes get like a little bit peeking out if that were to bother you or not. Um, but otherwise, this is the one where I was like, I don't know if I love how it looks with, you know, my black shoes. Ideally, I think you'd have, like, a white shoe on, but, um, uh, I don't really have anything else to say except for, do we like the black one or this one better, or what are you thinking? There's not much going on in the back for this one, but... Okay, this is my last dress. It is called the Aussie dress, and it's just in black. It's gonna be kind of confusing if I just hold it up, because it's like a two-part dress. So it's, like, attached in the middle. But then it has um, adjustable straps and then it just has this like cut out on the sides and no connecting thing in the back but it's just a midi length dress down and there's a slip on the side of this one. We have made it to our third and final dresses so we are in Sierra's favorite dress the one that's the one that inspired the whole thing. Um, and then this is my last one and this one is probably the one I'm most conflicted on. First of all, it's the one that's most challenging to get on and off because you kind of have to like go through the whole thing like a shirt. And here's what the back looks like. There is this stretchy thing right here, but it is not that stretchy. So you have to be kind of careful. And I just think that you gotta be careful putting it on and taking it off. That's something to consider. Um, straps are adjustable. I think overall it fits me pretty nicely. The slit is on the side. I kind of prefer it when it's in the front a little bit more. And then also the length of this one is longer. And I feel like when I was on the website, I don't remember it being this long. And I'm like pretty average height. I'm five foot four to five foot five. So I just feel like there wouldn't be that much of a discrepancy unless the model maybe she was a bit tall. And yes. it wasn't. Um, but I don't know how I feel about how it, like where it hits my ankles. When, unfortunately, you guys honestly can't really see the point that it hits. So this is a dress that I was obsessed with while looking at it online. I just think it is so cute and like, I think it makes a statement. I think it's very flattering. I like the top and I think I think it fits very nicely. I will say, like having tried on the other dresses like with the slits, I kind of was having like a little, you know, slit for a little leg moment. Um, I think this one hits pretty much like right where I want it to. I don't know if you guys can tell exactly, but it's like kind of like mid to just below mid shin calf level which I feel like is ideal placement for a mini dress. And then it kind of like flares out, it's loose at the bottom. Has some little like ruffle details that you can't really see, but yeah. So this is this one, I feel like it's cute. Makes a statement, fits the fall vibe. So those are all of the dresses that we each tried on. Let us know which dress you guys think we should wear to the wedding that we're going to. No promises. No promises, I'll probably just go with whatever one I want to wear, but I am like torn, I feel like between at least two of them, so. But we would like an outsider's perspective, so let us know. Okay, don't forget to check out our podcast. We post every Thursday morning, and I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, so. make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We post new videos, usually at least once a week. Yeah, around there, usually the, usually the weekend, but it could be whenever. Um, otherwise, we will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.